Hello, my name is Rainy Ray. And for those who don't know me, I am a gold leader in doTERRA. And all that means is that I love helping people and their pets get healthier with essential oils. Today, I wanna to talk to you about four oils. And these oils, I am so privileged to have in my collection from doTERRA uh, because they are ancient oils and they are um, rare enough that doTERRA cannot get enough of a supply to have them in our regular product line. So the oils I wanna to talk to you about are common myrtle, cystus, hyssop, and galbanum. So the first one, common myrtle. Now, none of these oils are oils that I would say, oh my God, I love the smell, but they are all four so powerful that you're gonna want them in your collection also. So common myrtle is actually, actually an aphrodisiac. Um, it's good for diabetes, blood sugar, because the compounds in common myrtle reduce glucose and help reduce blood sugar in the body. They're adaptogenic. So that means that they help our body, this, this common myrtle helps our body to adapt to situations that are stressful. Um, they're powerful for the, and this one is powerful for the endocrine system. For example, thyroid problems, um, powerful for hormone balancing. So that's common myrtle. Um, so oils, uh, other oils for your thyroid, that you could use with coconut oil and massage on the thyroid every day and add to a thyroid recipe, um, maybe in a roller, okay? Uh, common myrtle is also a powerful antibiotic, skin, brain health, good for Alzheimer's, dementia. It helps inhibit the formation of a protein in the brain that leads to neurotoxicity and causes Alzheimer's and dementia. So you would take common myrtle and massage it on the brain stem um, on the back of the top back of your neck, um, diluted of course with coconut oil. Also use our DDR prime damage DNA repair that stands for every day for brain health and dementia. For skin health, you can add common myrtle um, to a hydrating cream. I love our doTERRA hydrating cream, as you know. Uh, you can add it to lotion, coconut oil, jojoba oil. It's good for acne, helps the skin heal faster, and tightens pores and reduces irritation. So that's common myrtle, okay? The next one I want to talk to you about is Cystus, all right, cystus, another one that you may not love the smell of, all right, Rose of Sharon. It's very floral, um, but with rich base notes to it, okay? It's useful for, and that's cystus, aging skin, all right? So I've used it in my um, skincare routine, I'm 66 years old, so I can use all the anti-aging I can get. Um, it helps with toning and tightening the skin. Um, it's widely used um, in anti-skin care. Anti it's good for anti-inflammatory. Um, it's good for arthritis, joints, anti-spasmatic cystus also is. So it's great for any kind of muscle spasms especially menstrual related issues like cramps. Cystus also fights upper respiratory infection and coughs. It's good for circulation. It's amazing. It's good for UTIs, urinary tract infections. It reduces arthritic pain and swelling. It can help with hemorrhaging. Um, emotionally, cystus relaxes the mind and calms nerves, helping us to feel soothed and changes our negative thoughts. It brings emotions back into a place of serenity and helps to balance our hormones. So cystus is a mood enhancer. It also helps 
our intestines to work. So, and they'll be working more efficiently when you use cystus. It's good for abdominal pain. It's also really good for hemorrhoids and fissures. So you would use it in what we would call a sitz bath. Um, it's great for bronchial infections. You apply with a carrier oil to the chest and it can also be diffused. Cystus helps with autoimmune issues. So you can diffuse it and apply it topically to the bottoms of feet at bedtime. Cystus is also good for wound healing, scrapes, burns and cuts. So you would apply it diluted directly to the joints. It's good for swollen lymph glands. Um, I love cystus. Um, and it is definitely one I feel great to have in my um, arsenal of oils. So that's spelled C-I-S-T-U-S. -S. The next one that I would love to talk to you about, because again, it's one that I feel privileged to have in our um, oil collection from doTERRA. This one is in such short supply that they didn't they don't have enough to even make five mil bottles. So they made 2.5 mil bottles. It's got a childproof cap. Okay, so we've met all of the safety requirements that are important for this oil. Okay, it's great for, and this oil is hyssop, H-Y-S-S-O-P. Now hyssop, this one I actually like the smell of a bit better than the others. It's really good for respiratory. It's good for digestive. It's antiseptic for cuts. It's antifungal, antibacterial. It's calming. It's good for the bronchial passages. It reduces anxiety and reduces blood pressure. So it diffuses really well, I've found, with lavender and Roman chamomile for asthmatics and pneumonia symptoms. You can use hyssop with lavender and Roman chamomile um, before peppermint and eucalyptus for better results for respiratory. It is the strongest benefits are antibacterial and antifungal, but it's good for staph infections. So stay with me. This is good to know because it's hard to find natural options for staph infections. For example, MRSA. Okay, which is a staph infection. Other oils for staph are melaleuca, rose, and of course our On Guard blend. Um, I love to use the oils that combat staph pre and post any kind of um, hospital procedure or operation. Uh, for example, when I had my eye surgery, I added um, hyssop to my roller that I rolled around the skin around my eyes, um, basically on the occipital bone. Um, and I also used it um, along my spine and on the bottoms of my feet to combat um, any staph infection that I might get while I was at the facility. Um, anytime you go to a medical facility for any procedure, it's important to use oils um, that can help with um, combating staph and kill staph. And doTERRA has great products for that. Um, that's why in hospitals, they want you to get out one of the reasons as soon as possible, because it's a higher, the longer you stay, the higher the risk uh, for exposure to staph and MRSA. So post-operatively, I did, of course, hyssop, but I also used rose, on Guard, Melaleuca, Immortel, our anti-aging blend, frankincense and helichrysum to speed up the healing and to boost my immune to fight off things like staph and other bacteria and bacteria. So what you wanna do is um, you wanna make sure that you grab hyssop while you can. Like I said, it's so precious that it's only a 2.5 milliliter bottle, okay? Um, so hyssop is super important to get in your collection, uh, not only for staph infection, but aging related skin problems, sagging, wrinkles, you know, arthritis also, it's good for gout, loss of appetite, 
It's also good digestively. So if you have gas, intestinal issues, you can dilute some and rub it on your abdomen. It's good for fevers and hypotension um, or low blood sugar, menopause. It's good for respiratory problems, cough, cold, flu, all of that, okay? Um, two warnings with hyssop. If you're pregnant or wanna get pregnant, you don't wanna use hyssop. And if you're prone to epileptic seizures, you do not want to use hyssop, okay? Last but not least is galbanum, all right? Galbanum, G-A-L-B-A-N-U-M. Uh, interesting smell. Uh, it's very much like it sounds. Uh, but this is a fabulous oil to have for wounds, scars, it works for our respiratory, so bronchitis, coughs. It's great for the inflammatory system. Um, it's also really good for um, muscles. So think about aches and pains. It's good for rheumatoid arthritis. So many people suffer from that. Indigestion um, and nerve-related conditions. So anything inflammatory for the skin, like acne, pimples, things like that, use galbanum. All right, it's widely known for anti-inflammatory, antimicrobial and nervine properties. So um, I learned in my reading that it doesn't, you know, that no, nobody really loves the sense of this one. Um, so aromatically, if you're going to use it, you wanna add other oils with that smell um, a little bit more pleasant. Um, I don't like the smell of this oil, but I love to use it aromatically for its health benefits. So I blend it with peppermint if I'm working on um, an inflammatory issue. If it's mood related, I like to blend it with the citrus oils, um, whether it be citrus bliss or citrus bloom or one of the single citrus oils. Um, I, I just, I love these four oils. I wish that we would be able to get them all the time. They're in such short supply and especially the hyssop is in incredibly short supply. So you want to um, grab these while you can and add them to your collection. Um, it's their oils that are so very powerful um, and great to have in your toolbox. So, if you have any questions, um, reach out to me or um, jump over and contact me through my website, which is greendogessentials.com.